In the previous part, we decided on what parameters each level will include. And now we'll uh, generate an initial state from the level object. But first, let's open utils.js and add a few functions that we will utilize further in this part. First function is get random from. It receives number of arguments and we can pass as many arguments as you want. And then it takes random element from this argument and return it. And we are using mass floor and mass random multiplied by length of arguments. Uh, the second function is flatten. It receives two dimensional array, it means array of arrays, and returns one dimensional array. And to do this, we are using a reduce method of array. Here we go in over each row and add element to, of this row to accumulator. And the start accumulator is empty array. Next, we need to create the only class uh, in our game, and this is vector. If you are not familiar with vectors, I suggest you to check my free medium uh, series about linear algebra. There are some examples with JavaScript, and I provide a link to this series. Uh, as a description. Constructor receives x and y. And the first method in this class is scale by. It will return uh, the new vector uh, with the length bigger of initial uh, by this number. And to do this, we simply multiply x and y component by this number. Next method is length. And here we simply return the length of the vector and we are using the built-in function uh, hypot. The next method is add. It receives uh, another vector and returns a result of additions of two vectors. And the last method for now is normalize. And this method will return version of the current vector with length equal to one. In this game, we'll use vectors both for coordinates and for directions. And for directions, we need vectors with a length of one. So that when we need to calculate a new position for the object, we will take the distance and scale by normalized vector by this distance so that we will receive a vector. And by adding this vector to the old position, we will receive a new position Let's of the file core.js to the game folder and import vector and view helper function from utils. We give one third of game area to, to the paddle and it means that the box will be on center of top two third of the game. And the game state doesn't care about what is used for rendering, SVG or canvas, or does user playing on keyboard or touch screen. And because we do not attach to the specific way of rendering, uh, in our game state, we can choose our own unit of dimension and it will be block width. So uh, in our game, block width is like meter on pixel. This is how we measure things. And block height will be one third of the block width 
and the same with pedal height and ball radius uh, will be fifth of the block width. We declare the most common vectors here, like left, right and up, because we will use them a lot in this file. One thing that may look strange is that up vector is pointing down. This is also can look controversial since the state doesn't deal with the screen where coordinates start in the left top corner. But in this type of game, the choice of y direction doesn't make much of a difference. So we will always think that y is pointing down, therefore up have y component equal to minus 1. Next we declare left up and right up directions. One of these directions will be used as an initial direction for ball. So it will go from the pattern uh, in the left up, right up. And as we can see we are using add method of the vector and since the results in vector won't have length equal to 1, we apply normalize to it. Since we also need to get an initial position of pedal and ball when the player misses the ball, it is better to create a separate function that will return the initial state for these objects. And this function receives width and height of the game field on the side with paddle width. First we calculate y position for the pedal. It will be at the bottom of the game. Then we create pedal object. Position uh, here represented as a vector. So we place our pedal at the center, at the bottom of game field. Width will be equal to one of the arguments and height will take right from constant we declared earlier. Then we need to create a ball object. It will have um, coordinates of the center. and it will be positioned slightly above the pedal. Radius will take from constants and direction will be a random one between left up and right up. Then we return object that contains both paddle and ball. Finally, we can write a function that receives level and return the initial state. Uh, the game field always square. We determine its size by looking at the length of the first row of blocks and as a told distances measured not in pixels but in abstract units. In our case, this unit is a bit of block. In this case, we can say like, uh, our game have the size of 10 x 10 blocks. Then we place blocks at the center of two third uh, area of the game field to serve because one third goes to the pedal area. After calculating block start, we can create blocks objects. So we go over each block from level. This is, uh, and as you remember, blocks are array 
of array of densities. Then we go over each row. So here our element density and then we return block object. So we pass through density, then we calculate position. It is a uh, top left corner of the block. Uh, and width is always one and height we take from constants. Then we're ready to return state, but before this we can uh, create size object with width and height. And we are returning our state size and we will have blocks as array of blocks. So we using flatten function. Then we deconstruct call to get initial paddle and ball function. We pass size and paddle width to it. Then we pass through lives and speed. So this is it. We created function that return uh, game state from level object.